Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Let's Play F123. As usual, I hope you're all doing well. If you could please take a moment to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get it. All right, let's go see what they're saying. At TM at Marduk. So, okay, we're not going to be trying to pronounce any more names. Says, got to feel sorry for Aiden Jackson. Driving like a complete pro. My man. But that car, Connor Sports should be ashamed. They should. I was going to win that race. 100%. Wow. Box, box, box says, feeling like Jackson should probably put the car in reverse. It'd be quicker. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Damn, right, I'm the boss. <laughs> hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? All right, local media. With this being their home circuit, Stroll and Latifi have been all over local media this weekend. One particular outlet appeared bent on using our recent struggles to pump up the expectations of the home drivers. They indicated that Connor Sport were easy fodder for the Canadian pair and that our driver shouldn't put up much competition. This will affect the bonus objective and the upcoming race. Fodder. We'll show them who's fodder. Damn straight, we're confident. Devin was on Unpopular Streamer's channel earlier this week and promised a behind-the-scenes tour of our factory for next Thursday. This clashes with our scheduled team building days for the engineers back at the factory. Normally, I would say we don't let Davin's, Devin's flights of fancy interfere with our plans. That video has received a lot of views. The streamer has conducted us to confirm the tour. What course of action would you like to take? Um, confirm. All right, let's do it. Give the people what they want. To turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. Damn straight. They continue onwards. Still will to give him a centimeter. Almost touching there as well. As we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go. Oh my god! And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. Lovely. Thirteenth place. All right, I can do that. Okay, calm yourself down. Maybe. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. I'm in seventeenth. Damn, out of the way. All right, no collisions allowed. Bunch of pansies, I tell you. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna cheat one time since I'm a beginner. I screwed up. I'm an idiot. Okay. Didn't really give me much, did it? Somehow I'm in 15th place. 
I've gained two places somehow. I knew they were gonna get me. All right, I gotta pay attention to the radar more. Okay, this is gonna be a big ass turn. easy. I'm the greatest. All right, one more. Gap to your teammate behind is five. I don't care about my seconds. teammate. That dude's an asshole. Come on. Let's go. Gal. Oh no, I blew it. All right, here's the big turn. I gotta be more careful. Oh no. I thought I was gonna hit him for sure. The car ahead's losing two seconds a lap to you. Good job. Damn it. Come on. Yeah. I gotta slow all the way down if I have to. Five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. They won't give me another warning. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 3.7 seconds. I'm gonna quit doing that flashback, I promise. I've just, I've literally never played this game before. Okay, the car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap Or any F1 to games. I don't know all the rules or anything like that. But I think I got it. For the most part now. I give you a little leeway. Caution, caution. Oh no, God, no. Damn it.
was close. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. That was pathetic. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. Second. Sorry about that. Oh god. Ah, almost lost it there. I keep forgetting that one is not a spot where it'll get me for cornering. pretty good. Gained on him a little bit there. I don't have much time left. I'm going to do it. It's going to be quick. Come on. Ah! Damn it. Oh no, that's not the right spot. Wow. It didn't get me. It's right here where I can cheat it, kind of. Nope, it's not. Okay. That's the one. Oh God, no. Oh, that actually worked out. Wow, that could not have worked out any better. Come on. Damn, those cars are fast. Here we go. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Let's go. Let's pass these two. Okay, mate, that was an illegal maneuver. You've got to cede that position or we'll receive a penalty. I'm trying. There. Damn it. That was huge. Rubber and bring it home. So it's been a day 
bit of drama here in the circuit Gilles Villeneuve today. Brandt, what stood out for you? Well, it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there. Banging wheels, not giving each other room on track. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely for the wrong reasons. Yeah, we enjoyed it, certainly. And Aidan Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover, but, you know, you never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one. Don't hit your teammate. <laughs> I didn't realize it was my teammate. That's season. funny. Getting Screw that guy, man. He's a dick. That's probably a big result for them today. That's what he gets for messing and with Big Dog. that is no stranger to the podium. Big Dog. their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Of course, Ferrari won. It's all right. I'm happy with what we did. We were trying to get 13th place and we got 7th. We went from, uh, I believe we started in 15th place or no, 17th actually. Started in 17th and we got all the way down to uh, 7. I'm cool with that. It's definitely challenging. I mean, I, I do suck, but it is challenging. Let's see what the uh, social has to say now. To finish in seventh after a tussle like that? Nice one, Aiden Jackson. Butler should be sacked. He should be sacked. Aiden, just, uh, just a heads up. We're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how we run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. <laughs> sure. See you at the debrief. All right, buddy. Goodbye. Crofty F1 says, well, if they can't bring in the points, they'll bring in the drama. Hashtag Connor Sport. He's not wrong. At F1 says at Crofty F1. Enjoy it while you can. They won't be here next season. That's cold blooded. Maxime says seventh place for Aiden is an impressive result considering, you know, counter sport. I'm glad nobody blames me. Noble F1 says it's been a promising start to the new ground effect era. I think we're seeing closer racing all around. All right. Lucas says good on Jackson for earning that extra point for counter sport with that fastest lap today, especially after his eventful race. I didn't realize that was the fastest lap out of everybody. Hell yeah. I thought it was just for me. Jess says Butler and Jackson are at it again. Who could have seen that one coming? The mailman says at Jess, I always said putting those two together was a bad idea. What were they thinking? Zippy says at mailman, just wait for it. Jackson will put on a disciplinary while Butler will get a pay rise. You mean pay raise? Maybe it is rise. No, it's raise. All right. Arava says props to Jackson. That's a respectable finish for Connor Sport. Can't knock them when they're scoring points in their maiden season. Damn right. At F1 Sports Network says recap Canadian Grand Prix roundup with the usual crew. Red Bull and Press, blah, 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 blah. Tommy says who thought it would be a good idea to have at Aiden Jackson and Devin Butler on the same team? Serial says I dropped my poutine. All down myself in shock after Jackson and Butler's little entanglement. Hashtag hungry. GC Robot says, at Serial, someone at Connor Sport owes you a dry cleaning bill. All right. That's enough of that. What we got in the email. We'll start doing that, these at the end. That way, if people aren't interested in it, they can go ahead and click off. 
after the race or whatever for that chapter. And I'll do these for anybody that does care. Probably nobody. All right. Brian says, Aiden, just thought I'd send you a cheeky hello from Sunny Barbados. Been watching you race. Nice to see some things never change. And by that, I mean Butler is still a clown. Can't say I miss it, to be honest. Retirement life is suiting me just fine. Sun, sea, sand, and all the trimmings to go with it. Fell asleep on the beach last night. Had to do the walk of shame back to the hotel this morning. Can you believe it at my age? Hope all is well. Let's catch up at the end of the season once I'm home. Anyway, race fast, kid. And don't be a stranger. Brian. Andreo says we're putting the meeting back half an hour. Yeah, he told me that. Uh, Saski Amilis says tomorrow's interview. It's an early one. Aiden, I'll message you in the morning, but remember, you've got that phone interview at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. Ugh. I'm not a morning person. I try to rearrange due to the time difference, but we've postponed it twice now, so I think we have to take the hit. Details are in your diary. Just try and make sure to read the brief before you're dialed in. I'm going to have to uh, enlarge the font because I'm having a hard time reading this on the 4K TV. Also, just a reminder that the auction for N N Nigel Mansell's racing gloves is next month. If you really want them, we need to discuss how high you're willing to go. You'll be mid-race at the time of auction, so I'll have to bid for you. And I don't want to break the bank. Speak later. Saskia. It's impossible to break my bank. My money's as long as my... Uh, let's see... All right, enough of this. I'm even getting bored myself. Okay. All right, we're going to wrap this one up right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to help out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It'd really help me out. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.